garden's located at uh, 10510 Credit View Road, which is at the corner of uh, Credit View and Sandalwood. <laughs> I've had a plot in here before and it's done very well. Far too much food for just my family uh, to enjoy. So I thought this would be a great opportunity for the council uh, to get involved in this and uh, we could do something uh, really good for the community. Spending time in the garden is a wonderful place. Um, it's very peaceful. You kind of forget about what's going on in the rest of the world when you're in here. You know, it's just you, the vegetables, and uh, the sunshine. Not always the sunshine, but um, it's uh, uh, very mentally and physically relaxing. Um, you also, you know, you get a little bit of exercise. can be back-breaking at times, but... Um, I think that the inspiration was probably because it came from um, producing so much last year. I thought, if my little tiny plot can produce this much food, then just think if we had more and what we could do for the community. So I guess really and truly that was the inspiration behind it, um, you know, to donate to people that weren't maybe as fortunate as we are. Um, to help them out. I mean, what could be better than organic produce, which is really what um, this garden was. I didn't realize that it was going to grow into something as big as it has, because I've been weighing most of the food as we, you know, um, harvest it. I think my last count was almost 400 pounds. So the community garden, um, that garden was, uh, it was a project by the Credit River Métis Council and uh, the member Darlene who is in charge of that uh, she really wanted to help Métis families and because I uh, help a lot of Métis families in area uh, she was able to gather some uh, food together and then I would just dis distribute it to a number of different families in the community. They were incredibly grateful for uh, all the food that they received. Um, just due to uh, different finances and things like that, it's sometimes quite uh, tough uh, to be able to provide for your family, especially uh, healthy uh, local food. Uh, so it gave them an opportunity to really uh, offer the families uh, something healthy, uh, subsidize some of the food income for, for these families. not the big thing that makes a difference, it's the little tiny things that you do and you know when us adults can go without having food, kids don't know hunger and hunger doesn't have a color, it doesn't have a face. When you're hungry, you're just hungry and all you want to do is be fed. When you come, bring food because that's what we need, that's what we, because we never close, we are open 365 days a year. We are always open and we can tell our clients, oh we don't have food. We can't serve you because we depend on that. She asked if we are accepting um, fresh vegetables and I said yes we are. We are always accepting. We never say no to anything at all. 
I'm really pleased with that. It's very satisfying to see the look on their faces and how they appreciate it. You know, um, the Knights Table, I think, receive, you know, quite a few donations, but they don't get everything fresh. Life is not about receiving, it's also about giving. Especially for Métis, that's a, a big part of our uh, culture is sharing and teaching. We want to share our knowledge and, and teach the kids traditional ways of, of doing things. Whenever you take something from the land, you should always give back. And uh, whenever the harvest something, always give back uh, an offering of uh, tobacco. Every person, young and old, should learn how to uh, have a garden and look after it. You know, there might be something special you like to eat. Myself, I love Swiss char. And you can harvest that, you cut it down and it just grows back. You can have that from, from early summer to uh, uh, late fall. You can also can things, uh, you can blanch it and freeze it and have it all winter long. And it's fresh and chemical free. Starting from, from a seed uh, to, to the harvest, it's uh, something that everybody should know how to do. So I'd like to thank everyone who did come out to help. And um, we are looking for volunteers for next year. Um, we're looking for donations for next year. Um, the garden cost was only around $100, which for producing 400 pounds of food, that equates to four cents a pound. We pickled beets, we uh, did marinara sauce, and we made salsa, and we're intending on using all of that uh, for our Louis Rail gathering. You don't have to put in a lot of time if you'd like to volunteer. If you only have half an hour, one day, even, you know, out of the whole summer, um, we would appreciate that. You don't have to commit to the whole summer. The whole project, um, I think, was intended for community involvement and community spirit, community donations. So um, you don't have to have any experience. You can come out and just have some fun and maybe learn something um, while you're here. Involved, or if you need to get in touch with any of us, you can contact us at the Credit River Métis Council. We have a website and we are on Facebook as well. I have to get back to my trimming here. <laughs>